What is up guys, this is Eric coming to you guys again with another recipe video tonight. Uh, we're going to be making a pretty, uh, it's not too complex, but, um, you know, I like it. I just started making it. Um, we're going to be making a um, quiche recipe, which is very, very good. If you like eggs, of course, you'll like this quiche recipe. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Right, so I'm going to go over the ingredient list like always. Um, basically, you need a mixing bowl. Um, mix everything with, and gonna go over. You need cheese for this. Well, you don't need cheese, but it's gonna make it a hell of a lot tastier. Uh, you need some yogurt. You can use Greek yogurt. Uh, you use cottage cheese in place of this uh, fat-free. Um, cream cheese works as well. Um, I like to use whole eggs for this, but uh, my roommate likes to keep these around. Uh, you can use uh, egg beaters, egg whites, and a carton won't work. Um, as well. I haven't tried it, so I can't personally say. Um, and we're going to be topping off the quiche with uh, some uh, frozen broccoli, um, some more cheese, and I like to use uh, onions and mushrooms. Uh, probably be using the rest of these mushrooms and some onions back in the uh, freezer that I have. Uh, you're going to need one of these. You're going to need a baking dish uh, to put it all in. And uh, these I really highly suggest because it really brings out the flavors some garlic uh, onion powder. Um, dash of salt uh, helps out a lot, and then you're gonna spray down the uh, dish with the, some cooking spray, some nonstick cooking spray. So, alrighty, guys. So what I have here is basically um, just the egg mixture. Uh, I put in uh, about, I want to say, a cup of Greek yogurt in there just to kind of get it. Uh, you know, it mixes quite well with Greek yogurt. Uh, onion powder, powder, some cheese, um, just to kind of get it all bound together. And uh, I'm going to add in actually some salt right now. You don't want to overdo it on the salt, guys. Um, salt is really, a lot of people use it as a crush, uh, especially in uh, recipes like this, just to bring out the flavor. But really, the flavor should be all in the, the garlic powder, the cheese. Um, you know, really shouldn't use too much salt. And too much salt can be overpowering, honestly. Uh, so now, um, this is where I recommend a whisk, uh, just to kind of, you know, start whisking it all together. Alright guys, now after the egg mixture is all whisked together, you want to pour it into your uh, baking dish. I kind of switched mine out. I like this one a little bit better. Do that. Make sure you get everything in there pretty good. Alright, now after that's done guys, we add in our uh, veggies. Um, right now I just used uh, my leftover frozen broccoli, uh, some mushrooms. Uh, I was going to add in some onions, but it's not going to take up, it's not going to have enough space. Uh, after that, you can top it all off with more cheese. I like to do that and put put a little bit more onion powder or garlic powder on that. Uh, give it a little bit more flavoring. Um, and from there, guys, uh, you make sure you preheat your oven over here at 350. And you're all ready to go. Let's stick it in the oven. Uh, you want this to cook for about mm, uh, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how you uh, like your consistency. Um, I like to do about 40 minutes to get in the oven. And you put it in there, and I'll see you guys when it's all done. All right, guys, that is the oven that just dinged. It looks like our quiche is all set to get taken out. Let's check and see how this bad boy came out. It's been about 35 minutes, I want to say. Ooh. Yeah, it looks really good. So this is what it looks like coming out. You can see it got pretty baked up there. Everything's incorporated quite nicely. Uh, I'm going to cut into it and check and see how it is. All right, here, here we go, guys. It's the final product. Uh, right now, I'm just going to try to get it. I can't do it one-handed, so try to get a nice slice here. You want it to be nice and firm. Um, the cheese is really going to help incorporate it all and really get it to a really nice consistency that you want. Yeah, see, it's looking pretty good. You can check it out right there. Nice and thick. There we go, guys. 
final product. That is your quiche, and I can tell you right now, it tastes phenomenal. Uh, go ahead, guys. Give it a uh, like, subscribe to the channel and the video. Um, if you want to see more recipes I come up with, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Um, it always helps. So, enjoy, guys.